I did take some biopsies of the small bowel and the large bowel as well. It is such a beautiful spring morning here today. We've been spending it in the garden, tending to everything. It's just unreal. Like everything is just popping. I think it's because we had so much rain lately and yeah. then the last couple days have been sunny. So everything is like, I'm here. <laughs> Look at the tulips. It is unbelievable. And the waterfalls going again. The creeping Jenny has really taken over the pond. Everything is just, it's doing so much better than we thought for this early in the year. I can't imagine what summer is going to be like. Yeah, I know. It gets me excited. So what we're going to do today is try and get a little bit of gardening here where we had to redo the beds last fall. And then we're just gonna start mulching everything because we really like mulching our gardens. It serves as a way to cut down the amount we need to water them because it keeps moisture at the roots. And also it keeps the weeding down through the summer. Yeah, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's just gonna add more nutrients to the beds over the years, so. Yeah. We're just gonna get after it. The black flies are out, as you can see. I know, I said they weren't gonna be bad with the breeze and like the wind stopped. I know, of know? course, <laughs> as soon as we picked up the camera. All right, I'm gonna grab the tractor and start lifting over mulch. We're just gonna get after this. Cool, let's do it. I'm gonna get this in the ground. All right, let's do it. Turn up the music louder than How are you feeling? Yeah, how are you feeling? Excited. Yeah, I feel like we're charged. Like there's life again. It's cool that it not only looks good, but it helps make all the plants grow better. We don't have weeds. Yeah. There's bugs in my eyeballs. Okay, do you want to move? Can you pick those leaves out of right there in that dead hot stuff? Right here? Yeah. Throw it up kind of in here and I'll bury it in the mulch. How are you doing? Not good. You know what it helps with your mind off the bottom? What? Awesome. All right, well, I'll talk to our friends here and let them see how many black flies are literally eating us alive. <laughs> um, earlier, there's yeah, there's a few. Earlier, we were Ooh, saying that there's- Whoa, hold on. We'll update you in the, about the bugs in a second. We've got a more interesting find. Look at this. Look how cool that is. We'll cover him back up. I'm yeah. This log fell over, but clearly it's occupied. Yeah. There you go, buddy. We'll leave him. Oh, you know why? Look, flip the log up. All that, like, mulch and stuff. Oh, he's camera shy. He didn't sign a photo release. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to say about the bugs <laughs> is they're just absolutely out of control. But we're hoping the breeze picks up a little bit. It'll make it a lot more enjoyable for us, so. Yeah, and once the frogs start coming back in full force, a lot of yeah. tadpole eggs so far. Yeah, oh, there's so many tadpole eggs, but that's kind of the thing when the frogs aren't out, it's just insanity. We've got plans for the pond too, that's hopefully gonna make it better, so. Stay tuned for that. I don't even know why. You can tell me what you want, but I'm a slow guy. I wanna be the one that you can always realize, so. Now that we've got that area done, we're gonna switch gears and work on this side of the pond because it's the longest way around. So as we get tired, we're actually working on the closest area. I think that's gonna make sense <laughs> or help us make this easier. But I wanted to show how things are doing over here. So this area, we're just gonna leave more natural, but we've planted this, which is sweet woodruff and it's really doing well. It's kind of taking over this bank and hopefully we'll take over the area in between the trees and that's mixed with clover. The goal is we don't want to have anywhere that's a lawn. We just want green, beautiful plants that we don't have to do any maintenance to because a lawn is just a lot of work that we're really not interested in doing. So Tyler is just scooching by the house, which is pretty tight, but it's way easier having the tractor than how we've done this in the past with just two pitchforks and a wheelbarrow. I think that's as far as I'm gonna get it. Yeah, that's pretty good. I would have hit the house already, so. <laughs> no, you're good at the tractor too. Getting better. Give yourself more credit. This just... um, thing turned out so good, by the way. Oh yeah, thanks. So this is the little ditch I've been working on. So looks really good. what this does is it catches the water running down the hill before it goes to our foundation. And then we just channel it off into the woods underneath the driveway, so. I have to say, I have really missed this type of work. It just, it's so good for the soul. It is. It feels amazing. 
Yeah. All right, so this part may not feel so amazing. Because there's distance, what we are gonna have to do is use the pitchforks to fill the wagon and then take the wagon up, but that's okay. Right? Yeah, it's really not bad at all. Like compared to having to do all of this by hand, like yeah. having the tractor makes such a difference. Oh God, <laughs> if only we could get rid of the bugs. <laughs> Holy, they are intense today. So I'm gonna set you all down and we're just gonna get to work. So grab yourself a snack and watch us do some work. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having a snack soon. I wouldn't either actually. What's for lunch? Did we figure out? No. I got my eye on that salad. Ooh. Mmm, salad. Wow. It looks so good. It does. Don't know if she's gonna come back. Who? Oh. This one. It's just been such, such a long winter and so stressful. And it just feels nice. Like, yeah, just being out creative. That's what I like about gardening is it's more of a creative process. We just get to come out and play around and be with plants and nature. Whereas the house is so particular and there's code and regulations and all kinds of stuff you need to factor in, but like plants, I don't know. And you can tell if you're doing it right because they respond by growing well and thriving and being happy. And then if they're not doing well, you gotta pay attention and move them. It's just, it's a fun little game. So we changed up the plan of attack a little bit. Tyler's running laps with the tractor and bringing mulch over in piles like this. And then I'm working on spreading it around the garden, which is going way quicker. So yeah, definitely a trial and error thing. It's our first time with the tractor and it makes such, such a huge difference. It's kind of important when you have a big piece of property like this to have the right tools so that you can maintain your place instead of taking the toll on your body. So what he's doing, he's bringing one more load around for now, just here. We're worried that we may not have enough. And then he's gonna help me spread it out because I'm trying to keep up, but I tell you what, he is so much quicker than me because it's a lot of work having to rake it. And then sometimes like the pile gets a little thick, so you have to spread it with the wagon, but it feels good. I feel like I'm getting my fitness back, which I definitely lost over the winter because we didn't have a lot to do this winter. I mean, sure, we had the house to build, but there wasn't a lot of physical work for us like out here, so. Definitely feels good, but he's coming back, so I better get to work. Looking pretty good. Yeah. Can I see that rake? Yeah. Just gonna gather up the extra here. The bugs. Oh, the bugs? Around your head, just wait. It's insane. The worst I've ever seen them. Isn't it? Oh my God, it's bad. I feel like we say that every year. It's bad. It's grateful for you. Be the and always get through. Tell me the lessons that I never knew. In front of the class, cause I'm loving the view. I know we're gonna get Gonna see the one limited the blue sky. You and me against I'm gonna be fast, so let's go. There is really nothing quite like the physical exercise of getting in the garden. I really missed it. It's just feels um feels pretty invigorating. How's lunch going? Haven't started, we're doing swimming lessons. Todd is absolutely convinced that Squirrel is gonna learn how to swim, and he's starting her off by... Get her used lesson. to the water, yeah. So right now we're just working on getting her comfortable with water, because she's the one that anytime the tap comes on, she comes running, so I'm just, you know, playing off of her interest, right? And eventually we're gonna get you swimming in the river with the boys. Look. You heard swimming in the river? Huh. Wait, what? <laughs> are, are you gonna actually cook lunch or? Sure, is that enough? We'll do back later. <laughs> oh my. I think the next thing that we're actually gonna get up to is maybe getting all of these plants out of here. It's, um, it's gotten to the point now where all the seed starts that we've done inside really should be going out. Not only is squirrel like full on attacking them. Oh, um, she's really taken towards the pickles, the squash and the pumpkins. Yeah, I don't know why, but like it's really time for them to go outside, especially the nights now. It, they only really get down to like two or three degrees. So we're thinking that it should be okay. 
Well, also, I picked up that little greenhouse at Princess Auto that we're gonna like oh, yeah. put them in to keep them safe. So even if it does get like frosty, they won't be bothered by it. Yeah. So, bag salad for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> no fancy lunch today. We um, have been getting these at Costco. Oh. Thai style chili mango. It sounds like it would be weird. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's probably the best thing ever. Yeah. You done swimming? Do you want to have lunch? No! No! Does anybody else's cats do that? Like, it's the second she hears dripping water. Like, running at all. Like, even in the waterfall out by the pond, like, she'll just go in it and stare. It's very weird. She comes in the shower with me, too. Which yeah. is, like, a boundary I didn't think we'd have, but... Oh, well. Here we are. <laughs> all right. We're gonna cook up lunch and... Cook up lunch. We're gonna... <laughs> gotta open a salad bag and... <laughs> Make lunch. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. These are probably burnt. They're not fully burnt, but they're definitely done. You know what? I do like them a little crunchy, so that's good. You coming, squirrel? Come on, squirrel. Come on, squirrel. Wait, come, on. Come, on. come on, squirrel. Did I tell you I saw the woodpecker right outside the front door of the house? No. It was eye level, almost as if he's teasing me. The one with the big red beak? Yeah. But it's the little one. Hey, squirrel. Hey, squirrel. She is loving catching all of the bugs right now. Mm-hmm. Works good for us inside, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, I really missed this weather. Mm-hmm. Still a little too early in the season for naked salad lunch. Don't worry, that's in August. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Every Tuesday. <laughs> we'll put the link below. <laughs> all right. Great job, team. I guess I'll just eat my spring roll on the rock. I guess so. You can you can have put it in your pocket for a little snack when you get peckish during the greenhouse because I'm not taking a break. Mm -mm. I can't do that. It's too crunchy. It'll just end up as like crumbs in my pocket. <laughs> you coming, Eddie? That spring roll is going to come in handy as an afternoon snack in a little bit. Uh, we were just about to get started on our next project and I got a reminder to my phone that I have a better help appointment in 10 minutes, who's the sponsor of today's video. So what we're doing is Tyler's gonna go and do all the material gathering and getting the tools ready and I'm gonna have a video chat with my therapist. It's moments like these that I'm really glad that we don't have to mess around with driving and parking and waiting in uncomfortable lobbies to do this important self-care. I've been using BetterHelp for a little over two years, and when I first signed up, I made sure that I was completely open and honest with the intake survey. By doing so, I was matched with a therapist that really met the needs I was looking for and has helped me to open up and be way more vulnerable and just do the hard work and explore the areas of myself that I needed. If you've ever done therapy, whether virtual or in person, you'll understand how important that connection is right from the very beginning. You can save 10% off your first month by going to betterhelp.com slash Tyler Todd. That's betterhelp.com slash Tyler Todd and you'll save 10%. We'll also put that link in the description box down below, but for now I'm gonna settle in and get ready for my self care. All right. Do you think this is the best spot for it? Well, it's really hard to tell right now because the leaves aren't in, but I feel as though it's our best chance because it's like at the end of the driveway when the day is going to be the hottest and most sun. Oh, I have that as a pile, but... We can... oh. Like sometimes I'm like, you know what? I don't need kids because I've got Tyler. Oh yeah, right. Oh yes, I am the responsible one here. Step one. So we need D, E, and E. D, E. Uh. <laughs> Should I fasten this sucker to the ground or are we good? All right, so I'm quite confident no one's gonna be surprised by this. Rather than just building a regular <laughs> greenhouse, by the way, it is so cute. It's so cute, I just love it. Just go in it. It's like such a little nugget. It's perfect. Like it's gonna be exactly what we need. Well, maybe not quite exactly what we need. So what we decided is we're gonna insulate the floor with uh, leftover flooring that we have. Hey, squirrel. She's having the best time. <laughs> 
So we have this leftover flooring from the dome and from when we did the outhouse. So we figured why not put it on the floor of the greenhouse to keep in even more heat. And then we're also gonna use the leftover reflectics that we have to do the exact same thing. It's just gonna make it warmer in the night so our plants grow better. Yeah, and also we're facing north this way. So we're gonna put the reflectics around the back so that we don't lose heat to the north. I think it's a really good idea. I think so. What do you guys think? Seal of approval, Charles? <laughs> He's so sweet. All right, I'm gonna get to work on zip tying these first so that they don't fall out. In oh yes. Yeah. We noticed that obviously, cause it is just a cheap kit, like the trays, they don't stay in. So by zip tying them in, it's gonna hold them in place. Just why not take it a little step further, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay, let's get this done. Well, we have those heating trays. Probably couldn't put a wood stove in it, could we? Oh, wow. As much as I would love to build like a big greenhouse, like this is a win that we'll get in a couple hours that will allow us to. Yeah, we don't have time. And like the plants that we grow this year, we in theory could put some of them in the greenhouse. True. That could be like motivation to like try and save the plants. Yeah. We'll be like two gay Noah's arcs. Like instead of the animals, we're just trying to save the plants. We need two of every type of plant. <laughs> it's looking a little more normal. So Charlie and Squirrel are finding the shade. They're curled up next to one another, just sleeping. It is so cute. Do you see them? They're pretty cute. What are you doing, Squirrel? What are you doing? Chasing bugs. All right, now that we've got the cover on, we're gonna start with, do you wanna do the floor first or do you wanna do that? Whatever you think's easiest. Probably the floor, let's yeah. get it all in place. So we're just using the leftover subfloor. We're just gonna put it down. I think we can probably even get away without cutting it. Yeah, I like, don't think it needs to be exact. Like just sort of like lay it on top. Yeah, um, we'll just make sure when we put the laminate flooring in that it's exact. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna set you all back down while we get to work. Well what we're calling work. It's like a nice, cute, click laminate. <laughs> they wouldn't be surprised. All right, it seems like every two minutes we need tape, we need tent pegs, we need something and something else. I think we have everything we need. I think we finally have everything. I said I throw my hands up. Cause I feel good. I love. I think it would. Maybe like. Oh, floor. Not the whole floor, but like, let's do it good for the last. Greenhouse coming in. Coming in hot. That looks pretty good. I think so. So all that sunlight is gonna reflect back there. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Good job, team. Do you think we're ready to bring the plants out? I think so. All right, good yeah. How exciting. What's that smile? I'm just really happy. <laughs> <laughs> it is so exciting to like, not only have our space inside back, but there's just something about growing. It's just really exciting. Yeah. Not to mention, it's a huge cost savings. Oh, yeah. Can you grab the hem? That one there? Sure. Put it on my arm. Heartbreak, yeah, I've been a few times. Pay my respect to the hard nights. Pay no attention to hindsight. Learn to let it. So what we've decided to do is take the grow lights that we were using inside and just sort of wire them up inside this like why not we have them they use such little electricity and I think it's a really big reason why all of the seed starts that we've planted from seed have done so well like keep in mind this has only been a few weeks and this is hundreds and hundreds of plants that we would normally buy as transplants it's like it's hundreds of dollars we're gonna save so it's pretty awesome I can feel the sunshine. All right, so we finally just finished and I am over the moon with how it turned out. It is way too cool. It's so cute. So the leftover floor worked out 
perfectly. And then we were able to move all of the plants into here and still have more room for growing. So we've got shelves here, here, and there that we're able to do some more starts, which is exciting. And then up top, we moved the grow lights outside. So that way through the night, we're able to keep running them like we were in the dome. But and we just tested them. They're all on. Yeah. And they're connected to that timer in the back. Exactly. And then if it gets really cold, like say there's a night where it's going to drop to zero, we'll just throw an old blanket over top of this to try and keep even more heat in but i think it'll be fine though like it's it's so yeah. cool i love it it's good getting me job. excited for our actual greenhouse oh yeah for sure yeah all but right well this has been a day's work i think we've earned a, a chill let's go yeah. under the gazebo and just relax Hang for a bit yeah all right. have a fire oh you guys what do you think are you busy do you want to have a fire <laughs> come on boys It has been such a long, busy, productive day that as soon as we got the fire started, instantly Chill I felt, vibes. yeah, like relaxed, just total zen with the birds chirping and the leaves are rustling. It's We're just, really building a little piece of paradise here, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And I'm, I still just can't get over that greenhouse. I really think it's going to like make our little seed babies just pop off, you know? It's like, honestly, the last thing that I thought that we were gonna be doing today, but it was a really nice distraction. The yeah. last few weeks have been, we haven't really been doing much, just hanging out together. It's been yeah. really nice. Just wait till you see what I've got planned for tomorrow. That's gonna be even more fun. <laughs> you can only imagine. <laughs> How are you feeling though? Um, good. I'm feeling, um, I feel a lot better now, actually in like an hour real time the video that we posted last week is up now and i'm still waiting for my results but hearing everyone's experience with what i'm dealing with and like waiting for results and just like the weird uneasy feeling i knew obviously that i'm not the only one that experiences that but like reading everybody else's thing made me feel a lot better and more positive i feel good yeah. Yeah. You're going to be fine. I know. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. So yeah, I get my results the day after tomorrow. So definitely can't wait for that. But yeah, thank you for everyone that left comments last week and has just been like so encouraging and just positive. It really is that sort of mindset is contagious and yeah, I just appreciate it a lot. My biggest takeaway was just the number of people around the world that have had a camera up their butt. Like, I didn't realize how many people have had one, two, ten colonoscopies. You know what? Not enough. It's so, 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 so true. important. It's like, it's, yeah. You know what? Prevention's key. Shove a camera up your butt every day so you know. <laughs> Let a healthcare professional do it. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't, get, take, don't, don't take it. advice from us. <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh my all right well <laughs> on that note i think we're just gonna relax by the fire and we might take tomorrow off because it's supposed to be a rainy day and those days are always really it's good supposed to be rainy for the next couple days but oh really yeah yeah those are good days to kind of like stay in bed and just watch tv yeah. so we'll see <laughs> we'll see we'll see what we get up to yeah and you'll come along yeah. all right well, we'll see you in a bit see you in a bit <laughs> Don't go inside, don't leave me alone. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Hey, just getting started while I was waiting for you. Yeah, so what we're doing today, the container house is an absolute shit bomb. We have not done any organizing in a very long time. So the last project that we were doing, trying to like figure out the roof and the siding and ordering pieces in, we just left it here and all of the tools and all of the garbage and just junk, it it really needs a reset. So exactly. So we that's brought the fine. whole family over. And we're gonna have a little reset day and I got some stuff to sort of make this area like the command center or the office space for all the like blueprints and books and stuff. So it is a good idea. Yeah, so we're gonna do all that today. Hey squirrel. Hey. What are you doing? Mm. And the boys are over there. All right, what do we want to tackle first? I think we tackle clearing. No, let's put, I got a whiteboard. Let's put the easel together. Um, how about you start putting the easel together and I can like tidy up and stuff. Sure. Cause I don't know about. What do you want to do, Oh, 
Yeah, Remember you were saying that you didn't know how you wanted to like move the firewood in? Todd's been doing some shopping. Yeah. So I got this cart that it's like for firewood. So I figured we could back Ruby up to the deck and then load this on and then wheel it into the house. <laughs> Mostly. That's the plan. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay. Procrastination station. Let's um. We're pretty good at it though. Oh yeah. This point in our lives, we're becoming expert procrastinators. If you only knew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this together. All right, let's get going. It's gonna be a lot of pieces. Do you want to get working on taking it out, or do you want me to take it out? I'll take it out. Of the I feel like I feel like your contribution is your companionship through this project. Although I do love this outfit. Oh yeah, yeah, free sweater from a gift shop. Crocs, which were a gift. Costco sweatpants. Yeah. Costco jacket. So which room does everyone want when we move in? You boys are gonna have to double bunk and Squirrel gets her own room. This is bullshit. Todd, we're doing things correctly. No, don't even start with me. I know. Hey, 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 hey. Like, Bernie. Bernie? You're just like a grumpy old man like Bernie Sanders. Like, I know that's what I'm gonna end up with. <laughs> you just literally at every function. <laughs> Why would they say insert? Like, that's just, that's not an appropriate. Oh, come on. Here you go. You know what? I wish we could change like our niche in YouTube and it would could be like the napping channel. The napping channel. Or Tyler and Todd and come along and sleep with us today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to sneeze. One hour later. 2000 years later. One eternity later. Hey, no! <gasps> she wants back in. Oh, so oh, I didn't know it was raining. You didn't know it was raining, Squirrel? Oh. She said, fuck you. She said, fuck you, gay boys. Oh. Okay, next step. Use part B, install part A to part five first, then use part G, install part seven to part five. Got that? Oh, do you want to split one of these with me? No. It's also because it's raining out. Yeah, really sucks the life out of you, hey? Wow, look at how pretty it is with the rain on it with the tulips. And Fran, that is so pretty. Do you think Fran gets sad being left outside? Yeah. This granola bar has been eyeing me, I have to do it. Do you know what? I think that that's one of my favorite things about being married is Whenever I'm hungry, I don't have to feel like the guilt of eating the full thing. I can just be like, here. Do you think? <laughs> We're thinking of doing a lot of wood in the house, so it's not going to be like very white. It's going to be more cabiny. Two gay guys doing a lot of wood in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Walked into that one. We got like 13% of the task done. That's pretty good. All right, well, that probably turned out to be a whole lot of nothing, but we feel like we accomplished something. <laughs> I feel good about it. It's way cleaner in here. It's pretty unbelievable though, how much time goes into just like preparing the space and like resetting. Yeah. This was like two hours of work. Yeah, but we did it. We found out we're gonna open up another channel, a napping channel. So, Same anyway, yeah, anyway, we're gonna go take a little break because I feel like we earned it. Look at our whiteboard. <laughs> Just a little motivational quote. <laughs> to keep our asses moving. <laughs> I did take some biopsies of the small bowel and the large bowel as well. There's no colon cancer. There's nothing bad going on here. Whatsoever. It's a benign entity. In terms of the treatment, it can require a few tri a few treatments because there's essentially three columns of hemorrhoid. We put a little anoscope in, so a little a little telescope in the anus. So it can take a few trips to make to to strangulate all of them. All right. So how are you feeling? So relieved. Yeah. 
I mean, of all the things it could be, it's great news. It sucks that I have to drink that drink again, but I'll take it. That's okay, because if we have to go back down, the hotel had a really good water slide, so while you're just like pooping your brains out, I'll just have a day at the pool. <laughs> Silver lining. Silver lining. To your internal hemorrhoid lining. Yeah. <laughs> it really is like a good thing though that I got checked out because now there's a solution to this problem. So mm -hmm. it um, it's all great. It yes. Feels, Knowledge feels is power. But do you know what else is incredible? What? Having a nap that we were going for. Yeah. That we got woken up for. Let's be real. Do you want to go back? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on... Another adventure up my butt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next Sunday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>